Hi everybody, this is Dr. Dan Poopery, and I'm going to uh, share a video with you on how you can download and install LabVIEW for BME 214L. Now I made this video uh, before and um, some things have changed and some of the newer versions of LabVIEW actually don't work really well with our Elvis board, so we're going to install an older version. And so what I'm going to do is kind of splice my old video together with some new video, so if it seems choppy that's why I'm like splicing things together. But uh, we're basically going to follow the instructions that we have on our download and install website. So LabVIEW is free for us, so we can go and click on this website and it will take you straight to the ENGR Direct uh, site where it has the National Instruments. So the first thing is that we are going to install it on a Windows machine. Even if you have a Mac, we can't install LabVIEW on the Mac because we need to interface with the external hardware and you can't do that on the Mac with this LabVIEW. So if you have a Mac, you have to first follow the instructions to set up a virtual machine on the Mac, install Windows on that virtual machine, and then we'll stop, install National Instruments Windows version on your Windows virtual machine. Okay, so what you have to do then is create a uh, login with National Instruments. I already have one, so I'm not going to do that, but you basically will use your UTexas email to create a login. And then we're going to go to the download site. Um, the other thing that we need on this page is the serial number, so we'll just save that for later. Okay, so if you wanted to use the latest version or download a specific version of LabVIEW, you can get it from this website. Um, but to make things easy, I just have already have the download uh, file on Canvas, and so you can just click this button and download it into your downloads directory. All right, once you've downloaded the file, you can go to your downloads folder, and run the file. Okay, we're gonna to wanna to have to accept all these license agreements. One thing I don't do is I do not disable Windows Fast Startup. So I'm gonna uncheck that. I'm gonna let it fast start up and it seems to do fine, so I'll hit next. And so we're gonna install this package manager. Now this will take a little bit of time. So in this video, I'm gonna skip over the parts where it's just like taking a long time. So that way you don't have to sit here and watch it install, but just realize yours won't be as instant as mine looks. Okay, so now we have the package manager up and running and we need to select the things we want to install. So I think we can just use the defaults here. We want to use LabVIEW. Um, and then down here in the drivers, we definitely want this DAC uh, MX. So that's the digital acquisition system we're gonna be using. Some of this other stuff, I don't really know exactly what it's doing, but uh, we're just going to trust that we want those defaults. If some of this other stuff looks interesting to you and you wanna install it too, you can do that. But I'm gonna just stick with our defaults that are selected. Okay, and then we get this additional items that you may wish to install. And there's quite a few things on here. Um, frankly, I'm not sure, right? And so I'm just gonna play it safe and I'm gonna you know, they suggested maybe I want to install these, so whatever, I'm just gonna install them um, because I don't wanna like accidentally not install something and then it doesn't work and I don't know what the problem is. So it's more stuff to install and it'll take more time, but I think this is a safer route just to leave it all selected. And we have to accept the license agreements again and it will tell us something about that. So we'll just say, okay. Again, I don't want to disable Windows Fast Startup and I'll go ahead and hit install. Okay, so again, this will take a really long time, so I'll go ahead and stop the video here and just let it to install, uh, and then I'll pick up when it's done. Okay, so it's pretty much done installing. It wants me to participate in this program. I'm gonna say cancel, because I don't think I can select no. And so then it's asking me if I want it to check for updates, and I hate programs that are continually checking for updates, so I'm gonna say no. If you want to, you can say yes, but I'm gonna say no. All right, so now we have to actually activate the product. And so this is a little weird and a little different because I'm actually already logged in. So it might have asked you to log in at this point, so you should log in. I'm logged in and I've already actually inserted license into my account. So it's like it already thinks it, eight licenses are there. But for you guys, um, what you're gonna do is instead of check my account for licenses, you're gonna do this drop down and enter serial number. Okay, and then there's all these blanks here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is take the serial number from the, this ENGR Direct website. It gives you a serial number. It says after installation, uh, when activating, key above for all fields. So that means you just wanna copy and paste that serial number 
into all these blank fields. And it said, don't worry if some failed, as long as you get one to work, you'll be okay. Okay, and then I'll hit activate on this. And so mine says invalid serial number. And so I think some of these has invalid serial number, but like I said, I already activated these before. And so my products are actually activated. So I'm just gonna hit cancel on this and it's gonna be fine. When you all do the activation, you'll get something that looks a little bit different, but it, something will activate. Um, and so as long as one of those versions succeed, which I think it will, then you'll be fine. And so after that, we have to go ahead and do a reboot. So I'm going to reboot my computer and I'll pick up the video from there. Okay, y'all, I've restarted my computer and brought back up this Canvas page. Um, so we've installed LabVIEW and we've activated it and it's ready to go. Now we want to make sure we can use our Elvis board that we're gonna to talk to in class. So we have to install these Elvis tools. So I'm gonna click on this link. It's gonna take us to National, Inst Web National Instruments website. Um, we're just gonna download this. Note that this is for Windows only. So this is the key thing that if you have a Mac, you cannot install the Mac version, right? And so your Mac cannot talk to the Elvis boards. So this is where you'd have to use Parallels or Bootcamp or something and install Windows on that so that you can download and install this uh, software. So I'm going to go ahead and download. And we can go ahead and run it. So it does use this package manager to install. Again, we're going to accept licensing agreements. We're not going to disable Windows Fast Startup. And we want to install. Again, this will take some time, so I'll pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay, that wasn't too bad, but we do need to reboot again. So I'll reboot the computer and then pick up the video when we're done. All right, so we've just rebooted. If you made it this far, you've installed LabVIEW, you've installed the Elvis tools, and everything should be great. So the way you can check it out, if you go to your Start menu and you just type in like Elvis, it'll show the Elvis Instrument Launcher, so you can bring that up. And it'll bring up all these tools, and so you can start any one of these tools up that you want. We can also look to start LabVIEW, so I'll, I'll check LabVIEW. Okay, and what you want to do when you start LabVIEW is you're going to create a new project. And it says choose a starting point, and you're always going to want to do a blank VI. That's the best way to do that. And so you hit finish, and it'll bring up the front panel and the block diagram. The only other thing I'd check just to make sure in your block diagram is if you right click, it brings up everything you can insert into your block diagram. And if you go to measurement IO, this NI DAC MX, and you have this DAC assistant. Right, that's the thing we're gonna to use to read our data. So if you got that, you're in pretty good shape. 